Well, we, we were invited by the MU in Eindhoven to uh, bring together a, a group show of people that had a, a kind of like a, a shared language in playing with the streets where a lot of people had always the handicap of, of like the stigma of like that art that was born from a graffiti culture that it all started like yeah it was all in the early 80s when New York graffiti came to Europe and in fact all these people are of course influenced by that but in fact that we all realized that the roots were not there but in Europe before this time with punk with the whole fluxus movement in Holland we had Provo uh, situationist movement it goes all the way back to fucking Dada times you know it is all about urbanism cities growing expanding urbanism. and swallowing their citizens and the people that are in the show they are citizens that responded to that they decided to go interactive with the urban surrounding you know it's designed by city planners and architects and blah 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 and with all kinds of reasons but in the end what they did after a hundred years of city building they made horrible places where nobody is allowed to live free this is their response you know it's like it's about if the city is offering a, a dialogue this is what they say back We had the idea to build a hand car and to go around on the track side of Berlin. You, you, you could really reduce it to this one image that we had in our head just, okay, there's a bridge and there's a guy passing the bridge on a hand car. In a way, if, if you do graph, you, you're searching for a situation where you don't uh, get interrupted. And I want to go in and go out without ever being noticed. So it's the same strategy in a way. This is, this is a work he did like two, three different variations. The very first one he did was called the Herbarium. And it's the names that he burned on the ceiling of an art space that are the names of the plants, of the name of the, of the, 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 the concrete towers the in the suburbs. Yeah. And this is a kind of an abstract, spaced out variation. Random image generator. It's a it's a thing on the on the internet, which is a program that you can put on your website, and it selects randomly images. And that way, I try to um, try to put this in this piece because there's a lot of images stacked up, and the more there will be on top of top of top of the other, the less effect it has in a way. The more it gets blurry, what's really it's about. I think the fact that this overloaded imagery with so much colors and flashy images and wow, it really doesn't mean a lot. But because of that, exactly because of that, it's very easy for corporations to use it for different purposes than maybe it once came from. Okay.